Hey guys, it's December 26th, a uh, day after Christmas, and I am taking down my Christmas decorations. And this is actually a little bit late for me. Usually I am ready to take them down by like the night of Christmas day, just because I am ready for spring and I am ready for the next season. And I'm ready, like I get in the mood to clean and organize right after we like, open all of our presents and everything. So I got all of my, st like my new stuff all laid out and that kind of like spurs me on and makes me want to go organize and clean and so that is what I'm gonna do today. So when do you guys take down your Christmas tree? Am I nuts for taking it down so early? I don't know, I don't feel like I'm nuts, but while we're on the subject of organizing, um, I wanted to show you my new work table. I didn't get this as a gift, but Aaron got it for me uh, on Black Friday. Uh, it was $100 off, so we got it for $200 at Home Depot. And it's just actually a, like what? What is it, Aaron, a tool bench? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a tool bench that's on casters, but it has this nice uh, top on it. And our biggest problem when we film videos is all of the supplies it takes to get a project done. And oftentimes you don't anticipate what you're going to need until you need it. And so we spend a lot of our time running back and forth looking for things and I don't know. It just, it becomes a little bit of a chaotic procedure sometimes. So this is going to help me out so much and I thought that you guys might like to have a little tour of what I've put in here, I guess. So, first drawer. Look at that. Like, I'm so proud of this. Erin lined it with this rubbery stuff. So when I, well, if I open it like a normal person, stuff doesn't move around. And he got me all my own like screwdrivers and I have my staple gun and all my tapes and wire, my watering syringe, just some random tools that I find myself needing, my safety glasses, which I need to wear more often, but you know what? They'll be like right at my fingertips now. So I won't have to go looking for them. Um, chalk, a level, some writing stuff. Um, I got a, was that, razor blade and scissors. And then I have a pair of, this. Is, these are the Kate's Garden pruners that Kate's Garden sent me earlier this year. Um, I use my Felcos outside. So those are with my all my other gardening tools. So that's the first drawer. Second drawer is my glue drawer. So, I'm so excited to have all this stuff together. It like makes me feel so productive. And I'm not even doing anything. So, hot glue, super glue, E6000, Gorilla Glue up here. Um, and then all my other random stuff. I don't use this stuff very often, but I occasionally do. Thumbtacks, and then I have my wood burning kit in here. And then in this one, I have my own drill bit set. This is my diamond tile drill bit so I can um, make holes in glass or ceramic. Then I've got a few like florist supplies, my floral tape, um, wire, and then the, uh, oh, the name has just escaped me. Greening pins. Greening pins, Erin. My husband knows what greening pins are. That is so amazing. You are learning so much. Okay. Next drawer doesn't have much in it, but I have another set of stuff mainly for the spade bits. I use those a lot and I have another size out in the garage. It's one and a half inches and it's the perfect size to make a votive hole, like votive candle hole in birch, pieces of birch wood. Um, you make candle holders and stuff. So, and then these things you can put underneath pots or furniture. We just used it to move a bookcase, but it um, makes things slide on carpet really easily. So I still have some space in that drawer, so I don't know. Put some other stuff in there. Random stuff in here. I have an embossing kit, so I can gold emboss anything. Let's use some gold embossing stuff. A little paper cutter, some marker sets. I go through markers like crazy. And scissors. I don't know about you guys, but scissors just disappear in our house, and I don't know, I don't know where they go. Like, they never are found. Oh, the heck, I don't take them anywhere. So. Next drawer down, I've got paints, chalk paints, um, other random paints, chalk marker, and a bunch of stencils in case, I don't know, I get in a stencil-y mood. So, it's that one. This one, I've got some other floral kind of stuff. This one's a little bit, it's a little bit fat to be in there, but um, I've got dry and wet foam for floral arrangements. And some wreath forms down in there, which I have more out in the garage I need to bring in here. I'm still organizing and like, trying to figure out what I'm going to actually really need to have in here. So this will probably evolve, but I got my 
Baker Creek seeds. I ordered some. Let me like lay them out here so you can see them. I got some really cool squashes. This one is a Quaker pie. There's no picture. And then they sent me some free Brunswick cabbage seeds. Super excited about all of these, especially that one. Squash Yokohama. So that's a little side note. These are some of the squashes that I plan to grow next year. So I have two great big baskets of seeds out in the garage. I need to go through them and weed some of them out. Okay, the bigger drawers on the bottom, I've got mosses, Spanish moss, moss mat, just random, this is like the pool moss. I use this a lot, this chunky stuff. Um, I think I've got kind of the same thing going. Yeah, I've got some more sphagnum moss, some sand. I've got my twine thing my mother-in-law bought me for Christmas last year, I think, and I love it, it's so cool. Um, and then this has got like wires and fishing line and floss, I used that for some project, I don't know what. I guess if I run out in the bathroom, I know where to find more. Um, and then there's some things to hang pictures and wreaths and stuff. So anyway, so that is my new workbench and I hope that you guys found that interesting. Um, I'll probably figure out how to better organize it later and as I go. Um, but we are going to go start, well I'm going to go start undecorating the tree and Aaron is going to go outside and fly his new drone. So I win Christmas this year. I bought Aaron a phantom, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. It takes some amazing shots. So he's going to go out and fly it and get some practice and maybe he'll put a little bit in this video so you guys can kind of see and you'll probably see some of that in our videos from now on. So anyway, I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.